An ordinary guy was enjoying a quiet beer at this restaurant in London Bridge when a terror attack happened right in front of his eyes. Three Islamists in a van rammed into a bunch of people, got out with their knives and their machetes and started slashing at people. Now, we're told by our cowardly government, run, hide, tell. But Roy was having none of that. He ran at those terrorists shouting, I'm Millwall and he took them on. He received eight slash wounds to his head, his neck, his arms. Eight others were killed during that terrorist attack and 40 more injured, probably many more would have been, had it not been for Roy. He was hailed as a hero by many. People said he should have been given an award. He was called the Lion of London Bridge by the mainstream media. I even rang his mates and tried to put money behind the bar at his locals so they could have a party. But what do you suppose bonkers Britain did to the Lion of London Bridge? Did we give him a medal? Did we give him an award? Did we treat him like a victim? Did we use him as an example of having courage in the face of adversity? Did we hell? We decided that Roy Lana, the Lion of London Bridge, should be made an example out of, and we placed him on the government's anti-terror watch list. He may now face having to attend de-radicalization classes in case he is the one we should be concerned about. This is the madness of this country. One person stands up to a terrorist and suddenly they're the one that needs to be watched. And this is the madness of Britain. So terrified of talking about the actual problem of Islamists and terror on our streets. We seek to blame the very person that stood up to them and tried to fight back. Bonkers Britain, mad as a box of frogs.